I possess his soul. His and puppy. They know that I was the truest nigga involved with Biggie's success. I was the biggest help. I was the truest nigga. I don't write his rhymes, but he know how much he borrowed from me. He know how I used to stop my shows and let him touch the show. Let him blow up and do his whole show in the middle of my show. How I used to buy him shit and give him shit and never ask for it back. How I used to share. How I used to share my experiences in the game and my lessons and my rules and my knowledge on the game with him. You know what I mean? He owed me more. He owed me more than to turn his head and act like he didn't know niggas was about to blow my fucking head off. He knew. That's what I'm talking about. And then, if that's cool, if he disappeared, be, be a fucking mouse. Be a mouse. If you are a mouse, be a mouse. But for me to know, like, three weeks ago this happened, and then three weeks later your album's coming out, and you are fucking done in your album. But you don't know who shot me in your fucking hometown? This nigga's from your neighborhood? And I gotta find out by myself, and, I'm, and I don't even call myself a dime, just a capo. From the west side, and I'm on the east side in jail, and I know who touched me, and I know everything that happened. That's power. And he didn't know, so he was faking. And I was mad about that. And then I'm out of jail, and I couldn't believe that everybody was treating Biggie like the biggest fucking star in the world. Right. I couldn't believe that people was buying into the player image. And I just wanted, I wanted to bring back that reality. You know what I mean? Just like, I can't never, I can't never, nobody can never be confused and think I'm fucking Mike Tyson. And I'm a heavyweight champion. I'm a little nigga. That's why it's so raw to watch me just battle lions, because I'm a little skinny nigga battling niggas three times my size. But Biggie is not a player. He's never been. He's never had bitches until he got some fucking money. That's a trick. That's not a player. It's not a popper. So my point was to prove him wrong. I took everything that he glamorized and I personified it. Right, right. He, he, he glamorized Versace. Versace, I didn't call Versace. Versace called, called me to come to his show and gave me a gang of free clothes and act, please wear my shit. Please do some shit for me. Let me. Can you wear my shit? You are the image of Versace. I swear to God, you are. That body, that's Versace. I swear to God, Armani. You are so handsome. You are, please, let me, you know what I mean? From him, Dolce Gabbana, man, I ain't rapping at they show. Um, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. Everything he glamorized, I personify. Everything he want to have, I got. Jewelry, look, come on, man. I got more jewels than Slick Rick. Slick Rick loved the nigga to fucking death, but I'm definitely doing it. Yeah. I so, personify every image that niggas fake, right, right. I personify. I really bring it to him because I'm, I, I looked up to these niggas. Right. So everything they talking about, I really got into it, studied it, and tried to perfect it. Right, right. So I know if you pretend it, and I know it. The same thing they love about me, they gotta admire in me, you know, but they forgot. Vicky forgot that same shit that made him want to kick it with me is the same shit that's whooping his ass right, right now. Right, right. And that's why when he talks, you can hear it in his interviews. He want to say, I wish I could take this shit back, but he can't. He, he already committed himself to lying. Right. So now the only thing he can do is act like he don't know what the fuck is going on and listen to it. Think, people have to think. If, some, if your best, if this was happening for real, is this, would this be your reaction? Right. Unless you was guilty. And all that shit about my old boys telling me, you know, don't sweat that, you know. He's dissing me, yeah. but all my friends telling me not to. Oh, so you, you're a follower now. Oh, that's your problem. So you a follower now? Why didn't your old boys tell you not to make rhymes when you shooting pregnant babies in the, in the stomach? You know what I mean? That's why niggas was like, why'd you say that on the end of your record? He was like, oh, they kids won't grow up. Boom, boom. Honestly, I didn't write none of that shit down. I didn't write nothing. I'm just blowing up on the studio to keep me from really killing these niggas. Right, right. And that's what came out. But I don't have no mercy in war. They didn't have no mercy. They kids, they, sh they tried to shoot my fucking balls off. What about my kids? They was like, why are you talking about him being the um, sickle cell? They tried to make me a paraplegic. What the fuck is going on here? Why is that sacred? You know what I mean? That's not sacred in war. I, I was in Rikers giving these niggas love. Mob D. The guard knew him. I was like, tell them niggas I love them niggas. You tell my shorty, yo, them niggas is down, man. When they did that, they proved that they was really just little niggas. Uh -huh. Just little niggas that want to be heard. I'm a, I'm, I used to be a little nigga. I know where they at. I know they can't touch me. That's why I can destroy them so fast. Soon, nobody will be, they, they not going to believe this shit. I said it in the beginning that I was going to take these niggas out the game and sure enough, I will. Already, people can't look at Biggie and not laugh. No. You, you I heard, took every piece of his power. heard that shit. All I want to do is take them to where I was when they didn't want to support me. And I, there will be no support. And anybody that try to help them, I will destroy. 
whether it's whoever it is, I will destroy, and that's what I'm doing. Everybody that try to side with him or do a record with him or try to unify with him, I'm going to destroy. I swear to God. Can't nobody touch me right now. Maybe next month all of this will be over, but this month I'm taking every moving target out because this is a very personal thing for me, and I feel like people should have gave me my respect. Y'all know I was not like this before. Right, right. I did not attack people. I, I was not on no East Coast, West Coast. Right. I was the major bridge between the East Coast and the West Coast. Niggas came, call me. I'll get you whatever you want. So this is very serious. It's like if America sent an ambassador to Iran and he get murdered, Iran got problems and Iran should know that. And that's what I feel about New York. They should know that. Separate yourself from this nigga. And that's what's going to show. And they already do it. I got niggas in jail. I got niggas out there. But it's like the media is pumping it like East Coast, West Coast. Right, right. So some of these niggas that's old and whose careers is through, you know what I mean? Like De La Soul, they can come out and talk that um, Renaissance shit and try to clean up hip hop. See, I'm all for positivity. I'm all for change. But I'm not for niggas masquerading. Right, right. You haven't sold no records and shit ain't popping. Don't come in here and start criticizing as your comeback. That's right, wrong. Right, right. Y'all, you know how hard it is. You know how you felt when you didn't have no money and no record deal. Why are you going to try to destroy another nigga career? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Represent by example. And if you truly had a better lifestyle, then people will, you get five million sales. I'm not saying my lifestyle is the best. I'm saying this is the lifestyle most lived by the most motherfuckers out there. Or a variation of. No matter where you are. I'm not just, I'm not no gang, like on some killer nigga shit. I'm on some survival shit. Whether you a girl and you got three kids, you trying to go to school and work and make it. That's Tupac. I came from a crack mama, high school dropout, look at me now. Every time they throw an obstacle in front of me, I face it, let everybody know how it feels while I'm going through it and then hurdle it and let everybody see it. Every time it's coming in front of me, I have an interview, tell everything that happened, do it and overcome it. 